All right, Mike's running. Quiet, please. All right, so this is the optimization of a pyramid inside of a sphere. You don't want to wash it, you can. Oh no, I can't see it. This is the optimization of a pyramid inside a sphere. All right, um, we're gonna, we got this circular pyramid inside of a sphere. Here's the model. All right, what we need to understand is the different parts of this. If we understand the different parts of this, it's fairly easy. All right. All right, and the, the sphere, sorry, the sphere has a radius of 10. Ten units. And this is the spheres. Radius. Okay? So this R is the smaller. This is the pyramid. Radius. Okay. So we also have a, uh, a height here. Okay, and then uh, consequently, here is this. Here is the uh, center point of the uh, sphere. All right, this is the radius. So that's a measure of ten. Ten going up, and more importantly. 10 going this way. All right, so we've got all the important part, parts labeled. We also have this little unknown part right here. This is called, this is X. Okay. All right, so we have this portion right here that's X. And uh, all right. So what we want to do is we're trying to. Uh, we have a radius of of ten units on the uh, sphere, and here's our model for the pyramid inscribed in the sphere. We're trying to maximizing. We're trying to maximize the volume of the pyramid. Okay, now I'm going to start moving very quickly, so pay attention. The primary equation is the volume of a pyramid, which is V equals one-third uh, pi R squared times the height. Okay? Now, that's your primary equation. All right, your secondary equation is... Um, your secondary e equation is well I'm sorry actually you know what I take that back there is no secondary equation I apologize I got a little off track there so what we do is we start manipulating alright this primary this primary equation right here we start manipulating this primary equation so hold on one second alright yes so what we're going to do is, all right, the secondary equation, no, sorry, here is our, 
pyramid inside of our sphere and so what we want to do is figure a couple things out we want to actually uh, find this this x value okay this x value in terms of the radius okay so we want to find this x value in terms of the radius right here and in, and and what if we can just <coughs> substitute this x value with the radius value or vice versa we can um, we can get rid of this problem with the one two three variables okay so so what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus right here with the Pythagorean theorem x squared plus r squared equals 10 squared so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're going to um, let's write let's write we could do it two different ways we could write the radius in terms of x or the x in terms of the radius so let's see how the first way goes okay and and when we do this y'all when we do this y'all we'll be able to get rid of uh, our problem with the three variables because here's what's the issue is right here as well let's say if I were to rewrite this in terms of x instead of height well that would be x plus 10 right for the height how many variables do we still see right we still have three and now we have the opportunity with the Pythagorean theorem to rewrite x or r in terms of in terms of uh, each other with the Pythagorean theorem so that's the that's the key right here that's this is the this is the uh, golden nugget okay so let's try x well x will equal the square root of 100 minus r squared okay so let's say I were to substitute uh, that in there all right let's see how does that look um, it doesn't look very doesn't look too hot to me okay it just doesn't because that's a lot of funky differentiation so you'd have a product chain rule right there you'd have a product chain rule okay you'd have a nasty product chain rule alright so so instead let's try the radius okay alright solving the radius r was e would equal a hundred a hundred minus x squared okay and well let's see let's see if uh, plugging that in would help well what does a square root and a square do cancel so that's interesting let's try that v equals one third pi square root of a hundred minus x squared squared times x plus ten alright well let's see this cancels okay and uh... so one third pi a hundred minus x squared times x plus ten well this is still a product rule but we can foil it out quite easily so volume is equal to one third pi alright a hundred x minus x cubed plus a thousand minus 10x squared okay so there we go alright so volume is equal to one-third pi uh, negative x cubed minus 10x squared plus 100x plus a thousand just writing it in uh, descending order like we normally do so now I want to take a derivative alright this is a multiplying constant so I don't care and this is a situation where it's going to benefit me to just take the derivative of the inside okay it's going to be beneficial so I'm only deriving here and here alright so the derivative of v is v prime 
equals one third pi, and that is uh, power rules, power rules, power rules negative 3x squared minus uh, 20x uh, plus 100 okay so there we go now <coughs> interesting thing here we're setting this equal to 0 to maximize it we have the 1 3rd pi well what happens there I like brackets you don't have to use brackets I like them well, I can actually divide this out. So now I don't even have to worry about it. Okay. Cancel. So I have negative. Excuse me, I'm out of room. There we go. Negative, I'm switching sides. Negative 3x squared minus 20x plus 100 equals 0. So now, I'm, now it's time to do your Pythagorean theorem. So uh, negative, negative 20 plus or minus the square root of negative 20 squared negative 20 squared is 400 minus 4a 12 minus 4 times a so that negative times negative 4 times th negative 3 is 12 plus 1 uh, times 100 so plus 1200 all over 2 times negative 3 okay all right, so we end up with all right, we end up with 20 plus or minus the square root of 1600 all over negative six. All right, so all right, so uh, let's see, let's plug this into the calculator. All right. <clears throat> that can't work. It's negative. All right, so three and a third is what our calculator says is the appropriate answer negative 10 that can't work alright so 3 and 1 third which is 9 which is 9 thirds and 1 third which is 10 thirds okay so we're gonna take 10 thirds and we're gonna assume that's our radius R no that was X I'm sorry that's X the solution to this so what is x? x is something that allows me to get r. So let's plug that in. So we know, let's write our, let's write our answers nicely right here. x is equal to 10 thirds, which that's not really a dimension. All right, r is 100 minus x squared square root minus 10 divided by 3 squared so R is 9.428 okay and then also we need to find our height well the height was just X plus 10 if you just look at the diagram guys the height was just X plus 10 height was X plus 10 okay so right here and that's well that's three and a third plus ten so the height is thirteen and a third or what's that uh, yeah thirty four and a third thirty four over three all right and there you go guys that's your pyramid that's all she wrote all right take care uh, hope this uh, video helps